Hello everybody and welcome to another session on engineering graphics with me Yash Shavla from Parul Institute of Engineering and Technology. In the last session uh, we started with projection and we discussed projections of points and projections of line. In projection of line uh, we discussed uh, lines parallel with one and perpendicular to the other plane. And today we are going to move on and we are going to discuss more complex problems with the inclination of line with one or more reference planes. First, let's go to a brief of what we did uh, last time. Uh, let's see. This is what we did last time. This is a line and this is a plane that I'm having this is X and this is uh, sorry this is the Y plane uh, I'll put it this way okay this is the vertical uh, or say the Y plane and this is what is the X plane now last time we saw different uh, problems in which the line was parallel to one plane and perpendicular to the other so if I keep this this way you are you will be able to see a shadow of this line as I move this, you are able to see the shadow. Now, if uh, this line is exactly parallel to VP, and you can see that the same shadow is being casted on the uh, white thermocol that is here, as you can see. So, this is the projection of this line on vertical plane. And if I just tilt it a little bit, and at the same point, if I tilt it and I show you this, you will be able to see that there is a uh, there is a small point that is being yeah okay so you will be able to see that this line is being this is the line and this is the point that you will get on the horizontal plane and if i keep this in the other way that is this way then there will be a point on this line that is on vp and this whole line will be on hp that is another case and the final case was that this line is parallel to both HP and VP. So as you can see that the same line, uh, this shadow will be here. Oh, I'm, okay, this, this way and it will be on HP as a straight line. So full length on VP and HP is what we got. Now today what we are going to do is that instead of keeping the line straight, we are going to tilt the line first with one reference plane uh, right now I'm making an angle with HP and then say with VP that is in this way and then we will have inclination with say both the reference plane that is it is making an angle with VP as well as with HP so let's now uh, move to the slides and let's see that uh, today we are going to discuss uh, projection of line inclined to one reference plane and two reference planes and then we are going to solve examples which are related to that A brief uh, reminder or uh, HP is horizontal plane VP is the vertical plane and PP is the profile plane as I demonstrated using a thermocol now there will be three views that we will be drawing one is a front view uh, that is a vertical projection that is elevation top view is in HP that is horizontal uh, plane that is known as the plan and side view it is always there on profile plane that is the side view again okay now the different quadrants once again first second third and fourth quadrants if uh, the points are above hp and in front of vp then they are in first quadrant if they are behind vp and above hp then they are in second quadrant if they are below hp and behind vp then they are in third quadrant and if they are below hp and in front of vp then they are, are they are in fourth quadrant as this uh, table will illustrate different quadrants yeah this is uh, this is an isometric view of the different quadrants and this is the table that i just explained that above vp and in front of hp front first quadrant and so on second third and fourth quadrants okay now the case is two there will be two cases that will be discussed today uh, so projections of line with inclination to one reference plane and projections of line with its inclination to two reference plane so let's just see it once on paper that how this uh, thing looks like okay now if i have this i'll make an isometric view
this is my VP and this is my HP okay now say if the line is parallel to HP first I am going to say that it is P A R A parallel to HP and it is making an angle with VP then what will happen is that I if I if this is the line it will be something of this sort now what happens is that it is making an angle with VP and it is actually parallel to what it is parallel to HP so if I cast a shadow of this line on HP then it will be the true length and if it is there on VP then it will be what it will be the angle view that is it will be smaller than the true length so here the concept of true length comes in okay so now what is true length okay if I give you a line say this is a line which is 50 mm so a b let's name it a b now if i incline this line say with respect to the x axis say this is i'm viewing it from the side so this is my x and this is my y now what happens is that if i take this line and keep it here then it will be something of this sort and i'm making it at an angle say theta this is a and this is b and this is 50 mm okay now what happens is that i am viewing this from here this is my pen and i'm viewing it from this way so i am able to see the whole uh, 50 mm of it now what will happen if i drop a shadow of say a dash and this shadow will be b dash if i keep a light source here say if this is a lamp and rays of light are coming so parallel rays of light will come this way and they will be obstructed by a b and what will happen this a b will cast a shadow at a dash b dash so this length which is this a dash b dash a dash b dash will be what will be smaller than a b and similar way if the light source is coming from here then the shadow which is being casted on this y axis will also be smaller than a b so what is it this 50 mm is known as the true length whereas if i consider this as hp and the light source is here means the observer is from here and this a dash b dash is what a dash b dash is the top view then we can say that this a dash b dash is the plan length and if i say that the light source is here and the shadow is being casted on y axis that this is a1 and say here this is b1 then this a1 to b1 would be what would be the elevation if i consider this vp then this will be elevation and this a1 b1 will be what will be my will be my elevation length okay so this is the concept of true length and the different types of uh, lengths that are there in the projections okay so now see let's see it on the figure that how it actually looks in the quadrants that now this line is actually uh, inclined with hp and it is parallel to vp now as you can see that the angle that uh, ab is making with vp the same angle a dash b dash is making with xy and that length of ab is equivalent to a dash b dash that is because ab is parallel to vp hence 
the shadow which will be casted on VP or the projection of AB on VP will be exactly that same length and at the same angle as well. On the other hand, we can see that AB, small AB that is there on HP is smaller in length than capital A, capital B. Why is that? This is because it is at an angle with HP. So, as I showed you in the drawing previously that the shadow that will be casted or the projection that will be casted of capital A, capital B would be smaller on HP. Okay. Now, in the next case, as you can see, you will be able to visually uh, see the difference as I change the slide back to previous one. See, this is the first slide where it is just parallel, uh, it is making an angle with HP. Now, if I change the slide, you will be able to see that the length AB decreased and A dash B dash also uh, decreased, but AB remained the same. Why? Now, what happened is that it was already making say angle theta with HP and it was parallel to VP. Now, what we did is that we inclined this line capital A capital B with angle say beta with respect to VP. So, what happened is that the straight line that was supposed to be casted on, uh, so projected on HP also turned and that size, the true length of AB will not be visible in VP as well as HP. So, if you want to see the true length of the line, you will have to draw the projections and then take the follow the reverse step to get the true length. And if you are having the true length, then you can draw the projections which we require. Okay, so let us move on to solving a few examples. First, we will take a simple example and we will say a line 50 mm long is in VP. It makes an angle of 30 degrees with HP. Point P is 20 mm above HP. Now, let us understand that actually what is given uh, in the, what is actually given in the uh, question. Now, they are saying, I will just uh, draw it out, I will draw the x, y line, I will from the side view, I will draw it, I will draw it from the side view first. Now, what they are saying is that a line is 50 mm long and is in VP. So, the initial condition of the line is that it is in VP. So, I will say I will make, uh, I'll ma it is in VP, so I will make P and Q. Why? This is my VP. This is my VP. So, what I did is, I followed the question and I kept the line in VP. This is just for understanding, this is not how the problem is being solved. So, first I will make you understand that how this problem uh, is being told by the question and then actually we will uh, solve it on paper in uh, say if, uh, the front view and the elevation view. So, P and Q is there on VP, a line 50 mm long and this is what? This is 50 mm. This is what the first line of the question says. Okay. Now, next it, it makes an, it makes an angle of 30 degrees with HP. That is the next thing that it says. So, what I will do is, I will take this line and I will move it what I will make this, this is, I will take this as reference axis again, this is my O and this is my X, okay. So, it is making an angle of 30 degrees with this. So, my second condition is that I have to take this line and keep it this way so that it makes an angle of 30 degrees. This is what? This is 30 degrees. And this is again, this, this is the next position that is Q dash. So, this is what the second line of the question says. Now, what the third line says, point P is 20 meter above HP. So, this is, we will consider this as HP, then this distance is what? This distance is 20 mm. Okay. So, now we have to draw the projection of the line. Now, this is what, they, uh, this is already, uh, it is inclined with what? It is inclined with v, uh, HP. So, it is going to be parallel with what? It is going to be parallel with VP. So, what we will do is that uh, we will see that how the projection of uh, this is going to be drawn. So, we will follow the different steps. The first step is 
that we have to draw this line x y and we will make two planes that is h p and v p that will appear on your screen right now this is v p and then we will make h p okay yes so let us move on so my x y line is ready so my vertical projection that is my front view will come on uh, above x y and uh, my horizontal projection that is my top view will come below x y now wh why is that as I showed you last time also that if we uh, use this if you use this plane see this is h p and this is v p ok now what is going to happen is that we are keep going to keep the uh, line in this but what happens is that I, we cannot draw a 3D thing on the paper so what we do is we rotate this h p clockwise in this manner so what happens is then this is for the first quadrant so when this uh, line or plane or whatever the object is in first quadrant then this is how we draw it on paper h p comes above this is the black strip shows the line x y and this is what this is horizontal projection that is h p as uh, you can see on your screen that that was the case that was there ok moving on next is that I will mark a point uh, p dash 20 mm above x y that was the condition that was given to me in the question that the point that is initial point p uh, is there 20 mm above what above x y that is above uh, h p so I will mark my point p dash 20 mm above the line x y ok so once this is done my next step is that I have to draw a line segment which is parallel to x y why which is parallel to x y because the line is just making an angle with say h p so what I will do is that I will draw a line p q p dash q dash which is actually parallel to uh, x y uh, it is not parallel to x y I am sorry it will be making an angle of 30 degrees with x y why because it is uh, making